League of Legends lore is long, so I will be doing the fun, interesting only facts about champions in under a few minutes for people with short attention spans like you and me. Let's do Kane. Shooter Kane was born in Noxus and was conscripted as a child soldier like many others. Side note, Noxus is this crazy hungry war state with powerful people like Swain, Darius, etc. When Kane was no more than 10 years old, he and his comrades were ordered to attack Ionia and in specific a province called Baal. When they attacked, Kane's team were all either cut down by Ionia defenders or they ran away. However, Kane was not a p and survived the full battle. Let's skip two days, Zed and his followers arrived to the battleground and saw Kane there. Kane was ready to fight Zed with a sickle, but Zed wasn't offended by this and instead saw potential in Kane and welcomed him to the Yanlei. The Yanlei, known as the Shadow Order, is a group founded by Zed and other ex disciples of the Kinko Order. Their task is to protect Ionia and the members of the group use shadow magic. Hence, Zed in League of Legends can teleport and sh. The Kinko Order is a group and their current master is Shen. And long story short, Zed used to be an ally of Shen, but they don't vibe anymore, so the two groups aren't too fond of each other. Okay, back to Kane. After joining the Order, young Kane is given a place to stay. He grew training as an acolyte of the Order and Kane was a badass. Dude was very quick to learn how to master all of the weapons given to him, whereas the others in the Order would take years to master one single weapon. Kane then drinks the Tears of the Shadows, which gives him the ability to cloak himself in the shadows to assassinate enemies. You know Blue Kane in League of Legends, his E ability etc is because of that. Well, at this point I kinda explain Blue Kane, so where does Red Kane come from? Kane is later sent on a mission to Noctis as his final test. He needs to steal the darkened weapon in Noxus so that the weapon cannot be used against the Ionians. So Kane and his friend Nakuri go to retrieve the weapon. They surpass the guards and stuff, then they reach nearer to the weapon, and Kane hears the darkened rasp within the weapon call to him. However, one of the Noxian soldiers in desperation steals the weapon and starts losing control. The weapon takes over the soldier's body completely. Kane is shocked. He realizes the rumors about Darken weapons taking over the user are true. Kane uses a shadow technique to possess the Noxian soldier's body and sees how strong Rast was in his past life. Side note, that's like the ultimate ability in League of Legends where he goes inside a champ. Kane took hold of Rast and went through the same corruption. However, Kane is able to resist and control his enhanced power. So, up until now, Kane and Rast duel constantly over control over his own body until one of them wins and takes 100% control. Kane wants to be the strongest assassin ever and Rust just wants to cause destruction all over Rune Terror. This is the canon law for Kane in League of Legends. I'm gonna say some things I don't like about it. Kane controlling Rust makes no sense. Now I have researched the official law and the only reason I could find why he can control Rust is due to his strong will. Rust is mentioned as this super overpowered villain who caused major damage for a millennia. It doesn't really make sense that Kane, a child prodigy, is able to resist a literal god and that because of his sheer will. I've seen people on reddit say Kane somehow makes Ras sleep or uses his shadow magic to suppress Ras etc etc but none of that is official. I think Riot does these cop out answers quite a lot but I think they need a better reason as to why he can control Ras. Like either Kane is so strong and the goat or Ras is a b****. Okay so for this segment I'm going to go over Kane's relations with other champions briefly because I love these kind of facts so maybe someone else does too. Akali. Kane may have a crush on Akali but she knows Kane and does find him hot too but too crazy for her taste. I mean fair, he is hot. Jin. Kane, Zed and other members of the Shadow Order get attacked by Jin and Jin is actually so cool in League of Legends lore is crazy. Let me know in the comments if you want a video on Jin. Zed. Zed wanted Kane to eventually lead the Shadow Order because he trusted him so much and he was right because when Kusho, a man who is Shen's dad and the old master of the Kinko Order, tells Kane to kill Zed, Kane refuses. Kane is actually one of my favorite characters in League of Legends and hopefully in this video I explained why he has two forms. Thank you for watching, I hope you enjoyed this video. They do take time to make so a like, comment and subscription is appreciated. Have a good day.